India has issued what we call a NOTAM, Notice to Airmen. What is this NOTAM? Let me put that on the screen. Here is the news report. India issues NOTAM for very long-range ballistic missile test. So uh, this is for an experimental flight vehicle. And the, the no-go zone, no-fly zone or no-go zone is 5,400 kilometers in length. Uh, let's put a better image of that on the screen. Here we are. Take a look at this, the no-fly zone. No-go zone, no-fly zone. Indian missile test. It extends beyond the latitudes at which Australia exists. It extends almost to the southern coast of Africa, the latitudes of, of South Africa, and obviously Madagascar. This is an extremely extensive and long no-fly zone. Its max length is 5,400 kilometers. So clearly this is not some uh, short-range missile. It's clearly not a cruise missile. Cru cruise missiles don't have such ranges, 5,400 Unless, I mean... There are certain cruise missiles in existence that uh, rely on nuclear ramjet propulsion. The Russians, I believe, have su such a missile. In that case, uh, a cruise missile, a cruise missile has essentially unlimited range. But uh, we're not talking about that right now. So this most likely uh, is an ICBM test, intercontinental range ballistic missile. So which ICBM could this be? So this is, uh, the launch window is between 15 and 16 December 2022, which is about less than two weeks from now. So if you, uh, if you look at the uh, ranges of the various Indian ballistic missiles, it falls within the range of the Agni-5 missile. Uh, this is the officially stated range of the Agni-5 missile. Yeah, and uh, if you look at the Agni missiles, uh, the Agni-5 missile range has a an operation uh, has a stated range of between 5,500 to 8,000 kilometers. We don't know what the actual range is. This is the this is what it is believed to be, or what has been put out in the public domain. So that uh, so the, this uh, this missile test could be that of an Agni-5 missile. The Agni-6 is under development. It is supposed to have a range between 11 and 12,000 kilometers, which is, which is way 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 beyond the range of this missile. Yeah, but you could also test the Agni-6 missile with a shorter, reduced range just for the purpose of testing. So uh, this could possibly be an Agni-5 test. It could possibly be an Agni-6 test with reduced range just for test purposes. It could even be a K-5 SLBM test. The K-5 is a submarine-launched ballistic missile with uh, a range of between five and 6,000 kilometers. So it could be that as well. Yeah. So India is testing most likely some kind of long range ballistic missile, uh, most likely an intercontinental ballistic missile, either the Agni-5 or the Agni-6 or the K-5 submarine launched ballistic missile. This is coming up uh, in mid-December in less than two weeks from now. And to nobody's surprise, it is thus far the, the news is speculative, but it appears like the Yuan Wang 5, China's spy ship, satellite and missile tracking ship, might be heading back to the Indian Ocean region, right? So uh, this is news that came out yesterday. It is still not confirmed, but it looks like it's heading towards the Indian Ocean direction, this Chinese spy ship, which means that the Chinese are try will do their best. I mean, they would be stupid not to. You know, they will do their best to try and keep an eye on what the Indians are up to and what this missile's flight characteristics are like so that they will get an idea of what India is testing and what the threat to them is from this missile test and what this missile means for them in the long run.